Hey guys, this is Tech Howdy. I welcome you to another video tutorial. In the last video tutorial, we created our ASP.NET Core project using Visual Studio. Uh, while we created the ASP.NET Core project, the default template for the Angular application was used by Visual Studio. If we go to the client app folder and then open the package.json file, you'll find that the Angular CLI version at this point is 8.3.26, which means that while this application was created, Visual Studio used the latest stable version of Angular that was available. What we need to do is, since we want to work with the latest version of Angular while we are creating the Angular app, we would need to update this Angular CLI uh, version in our application. We could run certain commands and then update the Angular app, but we don't want to do that. Since we are starting this project, what we can do is we can delete this Angular app and recreate it uh, with the latest version. So first thing that I would want to do to update this Angular application is go ahead and delete the client app folder. So the client app folder is now deleted. Let's go ahead and create our Angular application using the latest Angular CLI version, which is 10.0 or 10 point whatever the latest version is available. Let's open our terminal. So inside the terminal, let's cd into our project folder, which is on our desktop. So desktop CMS. Then we would cd into the pro folder, which contains our CS proj file. So that would be cd you should be inside the folder which contains the proj file so cs proj file if you are not in that folder make sure you cd or change directory into the folder which contains your .cs proj file once you are in that folder we will type in the following command to create the angular application but just before we create the Angular application, we need to make sure that we have latest version of Angular installed globally on our computer. To do that, we will type in the command ng dash dash version. By doing this, Angular CLI will load the information on the terminal. As we can see, we have Angular CLI version 10.0.0, which is basically the latest released version of Angular. We also can see the version of node that's installed on our computer. So we have the latest version. So Angular, when we create the Angular app, it will use the latest available version on our computer to create the app. So to create the application, we will type in the following command, ng new and the name of the application. So we want to recreate the client app application. So I'll name the application as client app. I'll hit enter. And now Angular will ask us if it if it if it needs to implement routing. So we will say yes. And also what kind of styling or we need to implement in this project. So I'll be using CSS for styling as my style sheet. So and hit enter. That's the default option selected. It will take about a couple of minutes for installing the packages. Once the packages are installed, we should receive a message saying that packages were installed successfully and git repository was initialized so i have received the message which says packages installed successfully and successfully initialized git so application was successfully installed now we can close the terminal as we don't need it we can go back to visual studio and then check if the application was created we don't see the application here so let's refresh this folder by right clicking on it and clicking the option refresh. 
So I click refresh and I still can't see the new folder that was created by Angular. So that's the problem with Visual Studio ID. It's not 100% uh, popular ID to use on Mac, but I still prefer using uh, JetsBrain Rider, uh, but it's not a free option. So for this project, we are just using the open source options available. So what we can do is we can just close the try to minimize the application and open the tabs again and still it doesn't work so the only option left now is just to start the visual studio id once again so let me close this and restart the application and now as you can see the client app folder can be seen in the visual studio id so we have successfully now installed the client app or recreated the client app once again in our project, let's go ahead and check the package.json file to make sure we have the latest version of Angular. So as you can see, we have Angular 10. So now this app should be able to load in our browser as well. So let's run the application and see that we don't have any errors before running. Let's just build this application. So build was successful. Let's now run this application. So our application has now loaded successfully on the browser and we have the new Angular version 10 of the application installed and running successfully on our browser window, uh, which is installed inside the ASP.NET Core application. Now that should be it for this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we learned how we can upgrade the version of Angular uh, app in our ASP.NET Core project that was created by default uh, by Visual Studio. So in the next video tutorial, let's start working on creating the uh, Git control or Git versioning of the application and also uh, try to create a Git repository where we can store all of our code or maintain this code. So thank you for watching this video tutorial. Please like and subscribe my channel Tech Howdy.